How would you like to earn an extra $1,948 a year with very little effort? Did you know the average US savings account has $41,000 and earns only 0.25%? That amounts to a whopping $102 a year in interest. But if you had a bank that was earning 5%, then you'd be making over $2,000 a year in interest, which is a massive increase in savings over the average account. The goal of today's video is to showcase six banks that are offering 5% APY or more on their savings or money market accounts, which will hopefully allow for some of you to keep a little bit more cash in your pocket. But I have to say that today's bank options may not be for everyone. If you have no interest in using an online bank, then this video probably won't provide you any value. But for the rest of you that simply want your emergency fund or your additional part cash to be earning just a little bit more money, then I'll be giving you at least five different options today. Technically, I found over 22 options that are at or above 5%, and I'll be sharing that list as we go through the details. And a quick disclaimer that all the banks that I list today are FDIC insured or NCUA insured up to $250,000 per account holder. And also note that the banks can change their rates at any moment. But if you've watched any of my other prior banking videos, you already know that I provide an updated spreadsheet that lists a group of over 20 plus banks along with their rates. So feel free to check it out at any time. The first bank to review is New Tech Bank, which is offering a savings account rate of 5% where they are a subsidiary of New Tech One, which is traded on the NASDAQ. They are an online only bank that offers savings accounts, CDs, and business bank accounts. The savings account has a no fee structure and since they don't offer a checking account, there's no ATM options either. New Tech Bank is a relatively stripped down version of a bank when it comes to all the different services. But if you're looking for just a savings account with a high rate with no fees and minimums, then this one definitely checks all the boxes. I like the fact that they're publicly traded, and because of that, their financials are available for review. In addition, they do make it a point to stand out by stating that all their customer service is based in the US. Overall, this is a bank that offers a great rate for setting your money aside. They do make it very clear that they're primarily built for offering business accounts, both checking and savings. And for a business savings account, they offer one of the best rates at 3.5%. The term new tech, well, it makes me think of technology and the fact that I've been speaking so much lately on artificial intelligence. And there is a handful of stock out there that stands to grow astronomically over the next 10 years. And all of those electric cars, solar panels with power walls, and most all of our handheld electronics rely on lithium for their power. Where I'd like to highlight today's sponsor, Max Power Mining, where they are testing and prospecting potential sites to improve upon the US having only one lithium mine in Nevada, which happens to provide only 3.6% of the world's lithium. For the US to be resource independent, we need companies like Max Power out in the field researching to find more of these resources to provide additional opportunities to bring the US closer to resource independence. Max Power is also researching heavily in North Canada where lithium exists, but the demand far outweighs the supply. It is estimated that today's demand of 500,000 tons of lithium carbonate equivalent will grow to 3.5 million tons by 2030. And that's why the price per ton of lithium has skyrocketed from $6,000 to $78,000 in just two years. It is estimated that the world needs 400 new mines to meet the demand of lithium by 2035. That's why the US government is providing $3.16 billion in funding for domestic lithium projects and another $5 billion in the EV charging network. Max Power is working to create energy independence domestically, and that's something that I'm a big fan of. If you'd like to learn more about Max Power, ticker symbol MAXXF, I will have a link in the description below. Now moving on to the next bank of Vero Savings, which is a fintech online only bank where they offer a savings rate of 5% up to $5,000, and everything over that earns only 3%. Of all the banks today, this one has one of the steepest stipulations of requiring a monthly direct deposit of at least $1,000. But clearly, they are successful with over 3 million customers. Their account offers early payday, no fees, up to 40,000 ATMs, and it does have bill pay. But if you use an ATM outside of their network, well, it does come with charges. I'm not going to speak too much more on this bank because Yes, they do offer 5%, but it's only up to the $5,000. And then you also have to have that direct deposit of at least $1,000 a month. It exists, and I shared it, but I think that there's some much better options for a high yield savings account that is at or above 5%. The next bank today is M1 Finance that is offering a savings account at 5%. But this is one that also has a bit of a catch that I'm not a huge fan of. You have to be a member of their M1 Plus membership, where you pay a $10 fee each month or $95 a year. 
This gives a person the high savings rate, and they state it also comes with some added perks for reduced rates on loans and also more cash back when you use their debit card. They do offer a lot of financial services ranging from IRA accounts all the way to investment brokerage accounts. For me, there is one area where they do stand out, and this is the savings account is insured up to $5 million, since they do leverage a bank network for all the accounts. This is another one that I'm not going to get too deep into discussion about simply because they have hurdles that I'm not a big fan of. But M1 is a company that a lot of the viewers keep surfacing in the comments, so I felt it was important to at least showcase it since it does meet the criteria. But once again, I believe that there's other banking options that are going to meet your needs much better where they're not going to have hoops to jump through and there's no membership fees. The next bank today is Salem 5 Direct, which is offering an online account at 5.01%. They happen to be based in Salem, Massachusetts, and they were established in 1855, making them over 165 years old. Their online division, Salem 5 Direct, is relatively new, but they are looking to have clients more broadly as more people are open to an online banking experience. Their accounts are a no-fee structure, and they don't require a minimum balance each month, but they do require at least $10 to open your account. They happen to be a full-service bank that has free bill pay, mobile check deposit, and if you use an ATM outside of their network, they do pay up to $15 a month in fees. There's not much bad to say about this bank because they have a long history of over 165 years of being in business. And they do offer all the services that you'd expect from a full service bank. And they pay up to $15 a month in ATM fees if you have them. No hoops, no hurdles, no fees. That's my kind of bank. Moving on to the next savings account, which is with Ocean First Bank via the Raisin site, where they're offering a 5.15% rate on their savings account. I need to state that Raisin is not a direct sponsor of my channel, but I do have an affiliate link with them. But I think it's very clear why I'm bringing them up in this video. With a rate at 5.15%, they've earned that spot. You end up getting a login with Raisin, and then you have your own dashboard with access to the banks and their products. And when you deposit funds or you purchase a product, it's directly with that bank that's offering the product, not with Raisin. Once again, Raisin is just the mediary. From this, Raisin is being paid from the banks to market their product and get more people to see what it is and make the purchase. To give you a little more context, under the High Yield Savings Account section, they list 18 banks that offer a rate of 5% or more. The problem is, if you go to the bank directly, in many cases, they don't offer that same rate. This may be to ensure that their current customers don't get upset by not getting this rate or not seeing the rate and demanding it. In either case, I don't know the answer. Before moving on, I have a favor to ask of you. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button so my channel could continue to grow. And better yet, I hope that you consider subscribing so you can be up to date with all of my latest content. And if you do have an account on Raisin, then you can put your money across several different banks on their site to give yourself more FDIC coverage. So if you have a lot of money, it's an easy way to spread your coverage. That, and if you have your money at a bank from Raisin and the bank suddenly reduces their rates, well, you can see all the different rates and products from different banks. So you can take out your money, move it into another bank with no issue. You get access to all the best rates all the time. There's no need to memorize different logins across different banks or compare different statements. The Raisin site offers a dashboard that can consolidate all your purchases all at once. And once again, no, they are not paying me to say this. You can simply pull up the product information sheet right on their site, and you can see the Ocean First Bank has the interest that compounds daily and pays out the last calendar day each month. And the minimum opening deposit is only $1. And clearly, you'd want to read the fine print for yourself before committing to anything. But thankfully, they're all right there at your fingertips. And this makes it very simple. Now the downside with Raisin is that the high yield bank accounts don't allow for a combined checking account and the services that you would expect from that. This is just a savings account. There's no bells, there's no whistles. You put it in there, you take it out, you make money. The upside is that you can have accounts across multiple banks with access to some of the highest CD rates and money market accounts and it's all on one dashboard. Now I have to end this video with at least one more bank and it has an incredible 5.3% APY for their savings account. And I'm not joking, the bank is Redneck Bank, where they have the most incredible website ever. You truly need to check it out. Because I can literally let my three-year-old play on the site to chase the fly or make all the different animals make their noises. I know that's completely ridiculous for a bank, but it's kind of fun. Even if you have zero interest in them as a bank, their website is worth checking out just to see it for yourself. 
As for the details of the account, it has a no fee structure, free bill pay, no minimum balance, and they cover up to $25 a month on their ATM fees. However, they do have three downsides to the account. The first is that they only offer 5.3% up to the $15,000. And then everything over that is only 0.5%. And they do require that you have a minimum deposit of $500 to open the account. And the last negative is that you do need at least 10 debit card transactions a month. And if you don't hit those requirements, then the interest rate drops substantially. Yes, they do offer a great rate, but it does come with a little extra hurdles. But they do win the best website amongst the group, hands down. And no, I'm not just horsing around. I'm not gonna lie, I would love to be in a swanky restaurant with a group of friends and then pay with a Redneck Bank debit card. And please don't forget that I have a spreadsheet down in the description below with links to all the banks along with all the details that I spoke about. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and thanks so much for watching.